Hey there. Here are your top news stories from eWeek, sponsored by Dell and Intel. T-Mobile recently unveiled new initiatives to give customers the ability to make mobile calls using Wi-Fi networks almost anywhere around the world. Customers would also get free texting, messaging, and voicemail services on domestic airline flights that are served by GoGo. CEO and President John Ledger stated that his company wants to let customers extend their mobile range and call quality by taking advantage of Wi-Fi hotspots and technologies. Furthermore, T-Mobile will provide free routers made by ASUS to customers to bring this service into homes, which will also help solve common dead spot cellular reception problems. A report first posted to a Russian Bitcoin forum site stated that information on nearly 5 million Google account holders was breached this week. However, in a blog post September 10th, Google claimed that less than 2% of the username password credentials in the Russian breach list were actually valid. Furthermore, Google stated that its automated anti-hijacking systems would limit the risk on the 2% that might be affected, but it is telling those people in the 2% list that they are required to reset their passwords. Dell revealed its latest mobility and bring-your-own-device offering for enterprise mobility management. It includes enhancements to its mobile workspace, a cloud system that provides secure access to enterprise phone, email, and storage services from an employee's personal Android or iOS smartphone or tablet. Mobile workspace is also designed to streamline mobile enablement with the availability of Dell Business Phone, powered by Vonage Business Solutions, which will provide email integration with Microsoft Office 365 and access to Box for Dell to support enterprise content collaboration. Intel has begun sampling its upcoming 14 nanometer Xeon processor aimed at dense, low power servers as well as low end networking and entry level storage devices. At the Intel Developer Forum 2014, Diane Bryant, Senior Vice President and General Manager of Intel's Data Center Group, explained that the Xeon system on a chip based on the company's Broadwell architecture is the third generation of Intel's low-power silicon aimed at systems that run in massive, highly dense hyperscale data centers. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.